It has almost been a year since my transplant. April 15th, last year, my sister Bree and I went in for a life-saving kidney transplant. We went to Mayo Clinic so that Bree could give me this life-saving gift. She is just a phenomenal human being. Anyone that has met her knows that she is a sprite of life. From the kidney sisters. That's right. And I'm so grateful to her. Something that was a game changer for our family last year during transplant was the Gift of Life Transplant House. You're on some heavy duty medication that suppresses your immune system. And the Gift of Life Transplant House makes it affordable for you and your family and a safe environment for you to stay during your recovery. My recovery was about four weeks long. And you know, if you stay at a hotel or an apartment or something like that, it can get really expensive. This year, to celebrate my one-year life-saving anniversary of our transplant, we are raising funds to give back to the Gift of Life Transplant House to help other people going through transplant. I know that this is a really trying time. Who knew? a year ago that we would be going through a pandemic. We're isolated, I've been isolated now for almost a month, making sure that my suppressed immune system, that I don't get sick. And I know that I'm not alone, that a lot of you out there are going through similar things. Families are going through trauma with illness, losing jobs. I really feel for you. I did consider not doing this fundraiser at all just because of everything that's going on right now in our world and there are a lot of people that need help and I realize that but then I thought about the people who are at the gift of life transplant house right now and the fear that they might be experiencing the the idea of possibly losing their organ their transplanted cells whatever it may be and having to stay away from family. And I'm just so grateful that people have a place to go at this crucial time. The Gift of Life Transplant House is a refuge for them. It is the only place that they can go to and stay safe and healthy during this really trying time. I wanna do whatever I can to give back since I've received so much. And I'm so grateful for everything that I've received so to celebrate my one year anniversary, I want to give back to the Gift of Life Transplant House. They are a heartwarming nonprofit organization that are dedicated to helping people recover and survive after their organ transplants or tissue transplants or cell transplants. If we can give somebody a whole week, that's one more week that will save their lives and protect them from the harmful effects of this pandemic. Any amount would do. A roll of toilet paper, we all know how valuable a roll of toilet paper is. To encourage everyone to give even just a little bit, I'm gonna be putting on three live virtual concerts. And on April 15th will be the last one. That will also be the day the fundraiser ends and the day of celebration. Woohoo, virtual celebration. <laughs> I wanna celebrate with you to thank you for everything that you've done for me, all of your support, all of your love. Bree and I and my family have really felt that from all of you helping me go through my transplant. So let's celebrate. We're in this together. We're, we're going through this really crazy, interesting time together. I just wanna thank you so much for being there for me and for being there for the Gift of Life Transplant House.